everyone, welcome back to the Bait Shop video series. And guess what? We're out on the ice. Finally, we got first ice out here on one of the many uh, inland lakes in Bayfield and Ashen counties that we have available for a lot of different types of fishing opportunities. Today it's mid morning. We just had moved from a walleye spot. Now we are heading to a pike spot. And, uh, you know, you can fish pike, you can fish walleyes, you can fish crappies, bluegills, everything. It's a, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good mix array of fish fish types and uh, different types of lakes to fish for those different types of fish. So right now um, we're dealing with anywhere from like three to six inches of ice on our inland lakes. We just had a big warm up uh, the past couple days, but the ice is still safe. Uh, in Schwamgen Bay itself, uh, the ice is not safe. Uh, we had a lot of big winds. It did cap over, but the winds have pushed that ice off of shore. Um, and there is some shoreline ice, but you know, it's not safe. It's supposed to get a little bit colder here around Thursday, and that should uh, reset the ice. And I'm hoping by next week we'll be back out on the ice on Shawamigan Bay. So with this bait shop uh, video, being first ice, one of the best ways to catch uh, walleyes and pike on our inland lakes is to fish tip-ups. And so here at River Rock, we carry a lot of different types of um uh, tip-ups and different types of uh, set lines you know from the automatic fishermen for people that want to hook the set right away to standard tip-ups that are made by HT uh, Frabel and my favorite actually is the the beaver dam tip-up that is made here in Wisconsin so for this I'm just going to show you how I set the tip-ups and uh, a few different ways that we do uh, set it with different methods and stuff like that so like I said I like to use uh, beaver dam tip-ups um, Beaver Dam has a handy case to uh, carry three of these tip-ups um, out onto the ice with you. You can put your ice scoop right in there. So basically all you need is a hole, a depth bomb, and your, your uh, tip-up. So as you can see that comes out of there really nicely and uh, your hooks are held really good. So we got the hooks on here and uh, dealing with weeds or uh, hard bottom is something that we deal with when we're, we're fishing for walleyes or pike here in uh, Bayfield and Ashen County. So um, the traditional method, like I said, is you use a depth bomb and you hook it onto your hook and uh, send it to the bottom. But now in a situation like we're dealing with right now is we have weeds on the bottom that come up about two feet. And what I like to do is I like to use my Vexlar or any type of electronics to set my tip-ups. It, it makes it a lot easier and a lot simpler to uh, set that right at the depth that you want. Because sometimes with walleyes, you know, you want to set that bait like six inches off the bottom. And this is a lot more precise doing it this way than using a depth bomb. So why don't we use the Vexlar this, this time and we'll show you how to do that. So you just put your transducer in the water, of course, and turn it on to the scale. And here I'm showing 17 feet. So all I'm going to do is I've got my hook and i got my sinker. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll find a good lively minnow that we just got out of the bait tank. Um, sucker minnows that we're going to use. And I'm going to use this as a, as a pike. Actually, I'm going to use this one as a, um, as a walleye rig. So about a three to four inch sucker is good for that. And what we do is here, either with a treble hook or a single hook, I like to use a mustad. Um, triple grip hooks uh, for my treble hooks size 8 mainly and then for single hooks I like to use the Mustad double wides they uh, have a good gap in them and they can hook fish a lot better than treble hooks at times so don't uh, don't just get set on treble hooks all the time so I just hook them right in front of the dorsal fin and then what I do is use the sinker and let that fish go down and I'm watching it just like you're watching your jig on your Vexlar, watch it go down. Bait's going down, bait's going down. And I'm gonna set this just right off of the bottom. Actually, these guys got a flag going up right now. And uh, what I do is I just take a little bobber and that's, that's the mark I'm gonna use to set my depth. And I just put that on the line so now that marks the depth. Every time that I come back to reset that, I just wind my line up right to there, right to the end. And then I set my flag 
You can see that's a beautiful green and gold color for the Packers here in Wisconsin. So uh, you know this is going to catch fish because the Packers are awesome this year. But anyways, then you just set it right in the hole. And I know now I'm six inches off of those weeds. So the fish are cruising on top of the weeds. And uh, they're coming by and they're going to eat that bait. It's set at the right depth. It's easy with your electronics. You're not really messing around with that depth bomb in those weeds because you can't really set it that precise when you're dealing with weeds and just a regular depth bomb. So anyway, like I said, many varieties of, uh, of tip-ups at River Rock. We do carry these uh, custom-made beaver dams, which we're selling right now. If you buy one, you get another one for $10 off. Also, we have a 50th anniversary model from Beaver Dam that we're carrying. If you buy one of those, you're going to get one of these cases for free. Um, so we got a lot of good deals going on. We got deals on electronics um, for, for Vexlar. We got some fish houses that are on sale and uh, just a lot of other sales too. Also, one thing I want to mention, on the 19th of December at 6 p.m., we're having a seminar right in the store. And the first 20 people to sign up, are the only ones that are going to be able to come. So it's first come, first serve basis. You can call River Rock at the number listed on this video and uh, sign up for that electronics, electronics and gear seminar. So come in at River Rock. We're ice fishing. Get your bait, get your gear, and uh, we'll see you on the ice.